Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to share my March book haul with you. It's decent. Did some shopping. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to show you guys that I got a new tattoo. It's going to be hard to show you here, so I'm going to I'm going to insert um, another clip, but you guys look. So on my left forearm, it is a stack of books with a dragon shooting out of them. And I cannot love it more. <laughs> uh, we, I waited four months to even get the appointment to get this done. So I had a lot of time to kind of think and share some ideas with the artist. And he really, really like, it's stunning. And it's so detailed. Um, and I love it. <laughs> I got it about a week ago. And yeah, oh, I'm so in love with it. Mm, so in love with it. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the books. Now, I have a decent stack here of th four of these were sent to me. <laughs> Three of them were gifts. One of them is from a publisher and then all the rest I bought myself. So first up, I did get some gifts from you guys and mm, so, so sweet. Okay, so this one was from Brittany. Brittany has a channel, Rescues and Reads. I will leave her link down below. Make sure you go check her out. But she um, came to our retreat, our most recent one, and she helped us as well. She helped um, run some of this reading sprints for us and she organized a gift exchange and like all sorts of stuff. She was a big help for us. Um, and then she ended up sending me a book. As a thank you for like, you know, letting her do that. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, <laughs> we should be thanking you. Um, so yeah, but she sent me Creep by Jennifer Hillier, which I'm really excited about because I want to read Jennifer Hillier, like her entire backlist I want to read. I have really enjoyed every single book I've read from her so far. And this is the first in a duology that she had. And I, oh, is this the first one she ever wrote? It might, this might be her debut, but I know that Creep and Freak are tied together. So it's a duology. And so now I have the first one. Okay. And then we did do a book exchange for the retreat. Just anyone who wanted to sign up, it wasn't mandatory. Anyone who wanted to sign up could do it. And so we did like a little wish list exchange thing. And the person who sent me books was Kat from Kat's Novel Adventures, who we just worked with on Five Star Predictions. So I will leave her down below as well. And the first one she sent was You'll Never Know I'm Here by uh, Kirsten Modulin. Modulin? Modulin? This is about a book influencer or six book influencers and they take a weekend getaway and then things go wrong. And I was like, mm, yep. So um, I had a friend send me the information for this book and I'd never heard of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds like a really good time. So uh, yeah, I put it on my wish list and then Kat ended up sending it to me. So thank you, Kat. She also sent me the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. I really want to read this book. I've heard nothing but good things. I know that this is going to be kind of a light, fun romance. And it's going to be witchy, obviously. So it's going to be a little bit of magic in here as well. But literally have heard nothing but good things about this book in general. So very happy to have it on my shelves. So thank you, Kat. Okay, from the publishers, I got this from St. Martin's Press. And they sent me Sally Hepworth's new book, which is Darling Girls. This one comes out in April. I'm not looking too too much into it. I, got, I picked a few keywords out. There's a farm. <laughs> it's a family. Um, and they were res there were girls that were rescued um, from a foster family. And that was on a farm. And um, I guess years later, some bodies are dug up on the property. And so it's kind of like, what happened? What's going on? Um, everything seemed perfect on the outside, not so much on the inside. Um, that's all I'm going to take from it because... I want to go into my thrillers a little bit more blind, but um, I have not read Sally Hepworth yet, but I really, really want to. And she has a new one coming out in April. Okay, the rest of these I bought myself. So I went on a little shopping trip with Krista and Amanda and Katie, who were doing a middle grade March trip in DC. And I 100% crashed one day and we went book shopping. So I got a few things. Um, we went to five different bookshops, I think. And I, I bought at least one thing at every store. I think I bought one thing at every store, except for the last one. Last one, they didn't really have anything I was really interested in. But every other store, I bought one thing. I'm pretty positive. So uh, first one I got is Wayward. This is by Chuck Wendig. This is the sequel to Wanderers, which is a post-apocalyptic type of book. It's in the horror section at work. 
I don't know if it's technically horror or not, but Chuck Wendig tends to sit in that section at work. So uh, we'll see, but it is very large and I got this at a used bookstore. So I got a pretty good price on it. And I figured, you know, I have the first one, might as well grab the second one in hardcover to match the first one as well. Um, so eventually I will get to reading these books, but I have heard very good things about Chuck Wendig in general. This next one is Lindsay's Fault. I picked up Frozen River by Ariel Lahan. Um, this is an author I have not read yet. And this is now my th third, third book I have of hers. It's fine. Um, but when Lindsay says this is one of my all time favorite books of all time, I listen. So I went ahead and bought it. It's fine. Okay, this one, TJ Klune. So I picked up Raven Song, which is book number two in his Green Creek series. And this is werewolves um, and they're queer. And uh, yeah, I have the first one. The publisher actually sent me a hardcover of the first one because these books were originally self-published and Tor has picked him up as an author. And so they are re they kind of rebranded and republished this series in these new covers and their hardcover now. And there's actually a new storyline woven in as well. So it's not just like a cut and copy paste necessarily. There's a little bit more in it, which is really awesome. So um, I figured, you know, if I'm going to read them, I'm going to go ahead and read these. So I get that extra storyline, but they're continuously coming out. The first three are out right now. And I think number four is going to be coming out in the next couple of months. Um, and it's a quartet. That's all that there is. But I went ahead and picked up number two. Another sequel that I picked up without having read the first one. I got Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. I guess I'm confident I'm going to really like Ninth House. And it is on my priority reads this year. So I do plan to read Ninth House this year at some point, And then I can go into this one. But I'm, I'm confident. Okay, another sequel that I am ready to read. Because I read the first one last year and absolutely loved it. So I picked up The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. I actually ended up getting this at Target because I was looking for this one while we were on our shopping trip with the girls. And none of the bookstores had it. Not a single one. <laughs> uh, and we went to like independent bookstores. So not used. Like we went to mm, full price bookstores. Nobody had the second book. And I was like, everyone had the first book. Everyone had the first book, but not the second one. So um, I went ahead and grabbed it at Target because it was, you know, decently priced. And I was like, okay, cool. And I know I'm going to read it. Like I'm going to read it soon. Um, but I absolutely loved The Housemaid last year. And I just want to continue with the story. And last but not least, I'm getting a lot of sequels because this one is a brand new sequel. So Empire of the Damned by Jay Kristoff. This is book number two in his Empire of the Vampire series. I loved the first book, loved it. And I'm so excited to get into the second one. And I got the Barnes Noble exclusive edition. So it's like silvery, a little shimmery. Um, mm, yeah, I cannot wait to get back into this world. I absolutely love the first book and I'm just, I'm ready for more. Yes, those are all the books that I hauled in the month of March. Not too bad. Not too bad. A couple little special, special trips, but that's fine. <laughs> so let me know down below if you guys have read any of these. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.